Which energy system does overcoming and yielding isometric use? The answer is the anaerobic energy system. That is the question from subscriber Aries Musa 2709. So let's explain exactly why it's the anaerobic and not the aerobic. During isometric exercises, both overcoming and yielding isometrics, the primary energy system that provide energy for muscle contraction is the anaerobic system. The anaerobic energy system doesn't rely on oxygen and is used for short bursts of high intensity activity. Now let's take a closer look at how each type of isometric exercise utilizes the anaerobic energy system. In overcoming isometrics, you're attempting to generate force against an immovable object or resistance. This type of isometric exercise requires a significant amount of muscular effort can be linked to trying to push a wall or lift a heavy object that won't move. The anaerobic system, specifically the phosphocreatine PCR system, plays a crucial role in providing energy for these intense short duration efforts. PCR system involves a breakdown of creatine phosphate to produce adenosine triphosphate or what we know as ATP which is the immediate energy source muscle contraction this system can rapidly produce energy for a brief period typically lasting around 10 to 15 seconds of maximal effort overcoming isometrics rely heavily on this system though due to high force requirements and short durations of the contraction now with yielding isometrics we're working against a resistance that you're able to hold or resist against this could involve maintaining a certain position or resisting the force of gravity or an external weight. Similar to overcoming isometrics, the anaerobic energy system is also primarily involved in yielding isometrics. During yielding isometrics, you're contracting your muscles to hold a certain position, which still requires significant muscle effort. While the energy demands may not be as high as in overcoming isometrics, the anaerobic energy system, including the PCR system we mentioned earlier, and glycolysis, the breakdown of glucose, contributes to providing the energy necessary for muscle contraction. In both types of isometric exercises, the anaerobic energy system is responsible for supplying the energy needed to generate and maintain muscle tension. As the duration of the contraction extends beyond the capabilities of the anaerobic system, fatigue sets in and the muscles become less able to maintain the contraction due to the accumulation of metabolic byproducts. I wanted to give us a yielding and overcoming example of specific exercises that we both are very familiar with. Let's start with the elbow plank. This exercise is primarily going to engage the muscles of the core including the rectus abdominis, obliques, and transverse abdominis. During the plank, anaerobic energy system, particularly the PCR system, provides the initial burst of energy to contract the core muscles and maintain proper body alignment. As we hold that position, muscles continuously contract against our body weight, and the anaerobic glycolytic system contributes to supplying energy to sustain that contraction. The longer we hold this plank, the more the lactic acid produced by glycolysis accumulates, leading to muscle fatigue and eventual inability Ability to maintain the plank position. With the ISO chain or ISO max bicep curl, which is a overcoming isometric exercise, we're attempting to lift the bar with the chain attached, but the chain prevents us from actually lifting the weight due to the immovable floor. This type of exercise is going to target the bicep and require intense muscle effort. During this bar and chain setup, when we initiate the curl, the anaerobic energy system's PCR system provides that quick burst of energy needed for the initial muscle contraction, just like the plank. As we exert force against the immovable object, the anaerobic glycolytic system comes into play, applying energy to maintain the muscle contraction. Since the bicep curl is an intense effort against the resistance, lactic acid accumulates over time due to glycolysis, leading to muscle fatigue and reduce ability to continue the contraction. It doesn't matter whether it's one minute or whether it's six seconds. Those two pieces in place are the reasons why it's anaerobic. But if we were holding something extremely long, like say for example that eight hour plank, the world record Guinness Book of World Record plank, that is going to start bleed into aerobic. Now, in an extreme example like the Guinness Book of World Record eight hour plank, let's break it down. The initial stages of that plank would involve the anaerobic energy system, specifically the phosphocreatine system, PCR, that we talked about before, to help establish that plank position and engage the core. But here, as time progresses, the contraction is going to decrease relative to that initial effort. This reduction in force production means that anaerobic energy system's contribution diminishes. The aerobic energy system, which relies on oxygen to produce energy from fats and carbohydrates, will now become the primary source of energy for the sustained contraction. Prolonged exercises like this are going to require a continuous supply of energy to maintain muscle contraction, and the aerobic energy system is better suited for providing energy over extended duration.
reasons. The aerobic system can efficiently produce ATP for low to moderate intensity activities over long periods without the rapid fatigue associated with anaerobic systems. Because even though the plank position may not involve much visible movement, the muscles are still working to maintain that position. During a long extended effort like that, oxygen delivery to the muscles become absolutely vital and the aerobic energy system can effectively meet these demands. Plank would be predominantly fueled by the aerobic energy system due to the prolonged nature of the activity and the relatively lower intensity compared to short bursts of high intensity isometric exercises. Hope you found value in it. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.